Hello. Today is December 11th and there's 14 more days till Christmas. I don't know if you, about you guys, but I never was, um, I guess I was big into the Christmas holidays and stuff where you, you know, you decorate your house with all this Christmas ornaments and you put a wreath next in your, on your front door and then you put some type of incense that's supposed to smell like Christmas. You get like some type of Christmas tree incense to bring out the Christmas spirit. Yeah, I don't really give a shit about that type of stuff anymore. Um... I think like once this, this this weird order condition really impacted me, I just stopped giving a fuck about all that stuff because every Christmas I would be sad. <laughs> every Christmas I wouldn't get what I want. Every Christmas I'd be sad. If I get something, it'll probably be like a gift card or something that shit. And here's the thing, here's the thing about gift cards. I'm glad I get something, right? But, you know, they'll, like, but they'll like give me like a, $25 gift card to like Red Lobster or some shit or they give me like a gift card to like Bath and Body Works like why how am I gonna use this shit and at the same time you know if they give you like food gift cards okay you could you could use I'm surprised there's not like McDonald's gift cards or like you know like fast food maybe they do exist but yeah I don't know man like I, I just see my my mother at this moment uh trying to spruce up the house and put and all the little stupid ornaments, like the living room is filled with all the boxes that you, boxes filled with Christmas ornaments and Christmas decorations and all this other type of shit. And I'm just like, uh, yeah, I don't really give a shit. And like, I guess it doesn't even really feel like, uh, maybe this is sort of weird for me, but it sort of doesn't really feel like Christmas when you don't get a Christmas tree. And my mother got, you know, she, years ago, she bought the, like the fake Christmas tree. So you don't have to constantly buy a new one. But I don't know, fake Christmas trees just don't do it for me. You know what I mean? Like when you actually feel, <sighs> I remember like when I really was into Christmas. And I guess that's like when, you, when you're like, you know, a kid, maybe preteen. Because that's when you still get shit, right? But um, I remember just like when we used to buy real Christmas trees, I remember the smell of a Christmas tree and how, and the sap, the, like how your hands get sticky sometimes when you touch like, like the certain branches of it because it has some like type of sap on it or whatever. And I remember those types of things. And I don't know, I guess I get good feelings or that's the Christmas spirit to me, I don't know. But now it's like, it's just another day because definitely when this weird, Finkel body odor, whatever you want to call it, kicked off. Like, it, it one, in one aspect, when I was, especially when I was in high school, it was, a, especially when I was in high school and in college, it was a relief to get, have a Christmas break because I didn't have to be around the public anymore. But at the same time, some of the things I was experiencing out in public where I was in school and shit or I was at work, same things I experienced when I was in like these family gatherings and stuff to the point like now, I don't really give a fuck about a family gathering. Um, and with the coronavirus or this COVID pandemic, it's like, it's sort of, it's sort of great for me a little bit because it's like, I don't really have to go out. I don't have to go to this family gathering anymore. I already had this plan in my head that since I have enough money, I'm gonna buy a PlayStation 4 and I'm gonna buy like a lot of games. I said I was gonna buy this game called Dead Something and people were like, people in the comments were asking me, was it Dead Island or was it, uh, what's the other game they asked? Was it <sighs> Dead Space? No, it was Dying Light. That was the game, it was Dying Light. It came out like early in the PS4, uh, probably like a year after the PS4 launch, so maybe 2015 or something like that. And just recently I bought that. I just bought, I was thinking about what PS4 games I'm gonna buy. Cause the games I wanted to buy was Dying Light. I really wanted to play Resident Evil 4. And I wanted to play Resident Evil 2 as well. Um, what else do I wanted to, I wanted to play Fallout 4. I heard mixed feelings about Fallout 4. I heard it's, eh, it's okay. But I still wanted to play it and experience it myself. The Witcher 3, I, I wanted to play it, 
and all that stuff. But yeah, I, I narrowed it down to just three things. I wanted, I actually purchased Dying Light. I purchased um, Fallout 4 and Resident Evil 7. And I just got my, uh, I got my TV. Just got recently got my TV. This big thing right here. Uh, I don't know if this is a good brand, Vizio. I don't, I'm completely unaware of like, what are the good televisions? Is this like a Chinese knockoff brand? Cause there's a lot of like Chinese knockoff companies that show you just like substandard technology. I hope this is not a Chinese knockout te knockoff television. Um, but it's a 24 inch, only costs like 130 something bucks. Whoa. So that's good. I also got my PS4. I had a, I ordered a PS4 Slim. And it was used, but I ordered it on Amazon and it had the status of just like new, or it was just says new, right? That was what motivated me to want to get that PS4, right? I got that PS4 last week um, on a Friday. When I opened up the package, I, <laughs> I, the PS4 had a big ass stain on it. It like it had like a coffee stain, some type of sticky stain. It could be like a cum stain. It had some type of stain right on the center of the PS4. And again, this was presented just like new, right? So I'm like, okay, right? Then I open up the, you know, I look in the controller. And then the controller, like in the seams or like in the cracks of the controller, there's like this like brown dust in the controller. Some weird brown dust in the controller. What the fuck is, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like dirt or like chocolate powder or doo-doo stains, doo-doo particles, I don't know. But I'm like, what the fuck? I thought this was just like new, right? And it, I also saw this in the, I also saw it in the PS4 and the console in itself. They're like these brown dust particle, cocoa powder particles or whatever within the PS4. I'm like, what the fuck? This isn't just like new. And the biggest kicker of the situation was when I got the cords, it was like, there was the console, there was the controller and the cords. The cords were Xbox 360 cords. I was like, what the fuck? I immediately sent that shit back. So I ordered a new one and that's gonna come out in a week. So that's the thing. Man, I'm gonna be so sad because this is my whole like, this is my whole vision. If I have the ability to play a PS4 on Christmas day, that would be the best. That would be the best Christmas I ever had. Cause all my Christmases from the past forever, Sucked. I don't want to say forever. There were some good Christmases, but those like again, those like preteen when I was like, like 12 or 13 or something. This Christmas would be the shit. I was also thinking about the possibility. I thought about this. I thought it would be dope to move out my house, my mother's house, before Christmas. And the Christmas gift is independence. But then I'm like, nah, it's gonna take too long to do all that shit. But I'm thinking maybe like before before um, my birthday, I do that because my birthday is like February 5th. So that'd be pretty awesome to do, man. To do that before my birthday. So that's, so like somewhere in the month of January next month, that might be dope. Another thing I want to talk about. Oh, I want to talk about Candida. Um, last vlog, I was talking about different types of, different types of diets people normally talk about. And one of them was Candida. And... When I really thought about it, I said, uh, early, I tried Candida early in college when I was broke. And I realized like, bro, I'm not broke anymore. Like I can actually stick to organic meats and organic whatever. And if I can do that, maybe I should try it out and see if there's any possibility that, I don't know, makes a bigger impact. Cause I still have like, I want to say, I have like a white coated tongue. I, I don't know if it's that coated, you know, it's not like completely coated, but it sort of is. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe if I do try the Candida diet, not only would it bring down odor if I still have odor, it might also remove like this, like this white coating on my tongue. I don't know. So I'm thinking about that. And I was doing light research on that. 
And, you know, they also, within the Candida diet, not only do they say, don't get low, get low sugar, uh, you get a diet with low sugar, don't eat starchy vegetables, but also you should try to um, get antifungals. So they recommend like um, coconut oil and, um, and garlic. And I remember when I used to go on those Mebo forums, there was this guy who said that he was able to reduce his odor by taking like two cloves of garlic. He would consume two cloves of garlic every day. And he said he brought his odor down, he reduced it. So I found that interesting, but um, I don't remember the guy's name. I haven't really spoken to him or contacted him, but I'm thinking to myself, hmm, maybe I should try to do that. The reason why I never try to do garlic is because naturally garlic is gonna, I naturally think garlic is gonna have like a, doesn't garlic have sulfur? So I naturally thought garlic would, would make me smell even more awful. But I'm willing to take the risk to try to try and see what happens. If I consume like a, just a candida type of diet and then take as many antifungals, what would happen? I think that's very interesting because it also uh, leads me into, I want to actually read some comments. I think I'm going to do that. Like within every vlog, I'm going to read like the previous comments or at least try to respond to previous comments within the previous vlog I had. Because there was this one person who talked about... Candida! Candida! It's the Candida! So there was this one woman says, uh, I don't know if I should say their name or whatever. You have Candida. It's caused a lot of sign and symptoms. Do you have an email I can send link? Uh, how to get rid of it? Please do me a big favor and send it to others as well. Um, and she's asking me, I, I think she's asking me or the other guy because it's actually within a comment. Um, so... Yeah, I have an email that you can send it to, which is bosuffers at gmail.com. Another thing person asked me is, I have a random question. Do you have acid reflux by any chance? I don't think I have acid reflux. I don't believe so. Isn't like you, you get like some type of heartburn? Is that, isn't that like the one of the biggest symptoms of acid reflux? You get like heartburn or something? Uh, I don't think I have, I don't never feel like I have heartburn or anything like that. So I don't know. Let me see if there's any other questions. Game, Dead Island. No, it was Dying Light. Uh, I just ate two packs of Mentos. How's your nutrition and energy levels? Okay, I think I already responded to that, but yeah, since I, I'm doing this diet um, thing, uh, did I already say the diet? Uh, oh yeah, it's, today is like day 71 where I'm on this restricted diet. I have a goal in mind to do it for 365 days to see if there is a difference in my odor or results um, in how bad I smell or how good I smell. So they asked, one of the people asked me, how's my nutrition and energy levels? I feel fine, I guess. Um, I don't know about my nutrition levels. I would have to actually be scanned and stuff. And I guess they have to check my blood or urine levels to check, determine if I have enough vitamin B or D or whatever minerals within my body. Uh, is there any other questions? I'm glad things are starting to work out for you. You look very happy. Where are you from? I am from America. I am in the city of Miami. I am in the state of Florida. But yeah, uh, I don't know what the name, I don't know. Uh, is there anything else I wanted to talk about? Mm, I can't really think of anything else to talk about except video games because that's, that's the most exciting thing. Um, oh, I guess I could talk about my job. This is another thing I wanted to say too. I know within some of the comments, they were, they were saying that, man, you look really happy. Oh, you must, things are going really well for you. You must be happy right now. Thing is, I'm not really happy. Uh, I've been really thinking about it. I'm relieved that I get less reactions. I'm not gonna say I'm cured. Cause there's still like situations where I'm like, hmm, I wonder why this person did this. I wonder why this person made that type of face or whatever, you know? So I don't want to say I'm cured. Um, but I am definitely relieved. So I don't really worry about it as much, but I still worry about it. So like people always have to go out to the grocery store and shit. And I, I know that creates a lot of anxiety, at least for me, it creates a lot of anxiety. Now, I still get anxiety a little bit, but it's not as bad. 
um, because I don't see anything, see anything too alarming that makes me think, oh shit, right? Um, but yeah, I feel relieved. If I had to say my happiness meter, if I had to get like a one out of 100, I would say my happiness meter is like a 53. Um, because again, like everybody has this idea in their head of what, like when I was 15, I had an idea in my head what I would achieve at the age of 25, you know? Or when I was like in high school, maybe, maybe, maybe I don't know, maybe 15 or whatever age, when I was high school, I had an idea in my head, okay, okay, I'm going to do this by the age of 21, I'm gonna to go to college, and complete college, it's probably gonna take me some time to find a job, so by the age of 23, I find a job, by age of 25, I'm gonna have a girlfriend, and I'm gonna have a house with a white picket fence, with a dog named Fido, you know, I had this like vision in my head of what I'm going to accomplish, and when I never accomplished that shit, when, I, when I'd actually hit 25, because I'm, I'm 30 now, like, that super depressed me when I realized, bro, I'm nowhere near what I wanted to be. And I think that's a thing that everybody deals with, but it's even more, I guess, it's even more of a burden on me that like five years later, I'm still trying to get that. And even then, would, that really, would I really achieve happiness if I got a dog named Fido uh, over, uh, over a white picket fence or some shit? You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. There's certain expectations you set for yourself, and when you don't achieve them, you feel like shit. Um, I don't know. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's just how I feel. Um, even now, like, oh, I wanted to say this and then I'll just like end it because it's over 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, so, like, even though I'm, I have a pretty, you know, I'm relieved, I have more stress with my job and I haven't really been able to talk about the job that much, uh, to just shorten it. Like, we have a project where it was a tight deadline and we're limited, amount, we're limited to developers. So that means I would have to I have to work overtime and also work on the weekends. So I can't do shit on the weekends at all. I work seven days almost yeah, seven days a week for like the last three or four weeks because this guy, the boss, thought it was a good idea to have a small pro to have a big project with a small deadline with a small amount of developers to actually try to accomplish this project. And it's just it's just bothers me even now like I had to like wake up at 6 30 I'm 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 afforded to work remotely but at the same time the only reason why I'm working remotely is because I save more time working as opposed to driving for an hour to go to the job and stuff like that they rather let me just work remotely so I save more time and I could put that time into doing the bullshit but I don't know like I'm always stressed out and shit I didn't want to make it that long. I'm going to end it right here. You guys have a good day.